Hello everyone, this is Anita White with Love Your Art. We're back today with another video and we are going to be using a 10 by 20 inch canvas in which we have taken the scrapings from leftover pores and made this beautiful blue base and we're going to torch and look for air bubbles, pop air bubbles and look for foreign debris. Anything that could interfere with the less than flawless foundation. And we are using our Liquitex Base Expression Blue and some Master's Touch Pearlized White as our two foundational colors. Do a design here, getting that with a nice squeeze of paint since we only have two colors we want to be sure we have plenty of paint and we'll take and pour and we'll put We have to try to blow this probably on high because we will we'll try on low and we'll see if we have to go to high because we don't have base paint to add to it to assist with the flow. Since this is a um, collection of run over uh, paints that we pulled up and scraped up. All right, let's see what we can do. very pretty and a good use of leftover scrapings. I am liking this. Let's see if we can lightly torch. A few little cells. But that is really just about it. We'll use our Panagram stick to wipe up underneath. Oops. I need that. This. There we go. And we can capture this excess paint and bring this to rest. 
there's a beautiful shimmer and shine from the blue and the uh, pearlized white making for a um, steel-like color, shimmer and shine, beautiful. We'll wipe underneath here as well. And paste a little bit of our base paint to fill in there. And it's time for you to see this close up, so we'll bring you in for a close up. All right, let's do it. And it's close-up time with this 10 by 20 inch canvas in which we've taken the scrapings from other paints, uh, pores, and made a beautiful blue base. And then used the two colors, the Prussian Blue by Liquitex Basics and the Master's Touch Pearlized White to create our Dutch pour on top. Look at the glossy, glorious, beautiful shimmer and shine from these two colors. We have a flash on so you can see the detail and the gorgeous shimmer and shine from these beautiful colors that have merged together to create this Dutch pour. The Prussian blue and the Pearlized white, creating those beautiful white cells, glossy, glittery like cells. And here's our top part fading out into the upper edge corner here. Very, very pretty. This part here looks white and kind of like a steel like silver. Very, very pretty. So there's the full Dutch pour. And on this side, you can see it there. Coming in and looking at that shimmer and shine. See that steel like color that it's created of silver. And also from this angle. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. So appreciate the feedback and thank you so much for joining me each and every time. Again, this is another opportunity to show you how we can repurpose paint, taking the scrapings from previous paintings and taking them and using them as a mixed base uh, for our, our base, uh, mixing them for our base and giving us an opportunity to really uh, save on our paint. Let me know what you think about our background here as well as our Dutch pour. And we'll see you on the very next one. Bye now.